welcome. Well, today I'm just having a quick visit to Tower. So I'm just going to have a look around, show you a bit of Tower. So please feel free to join us. This is this uh, village taverna. Stamana taverna. Booking our table. It opens at six o'clock on an evening, closed on Tuesdays. A lovely quiet village, but there are a few bars and restaurants. So we're walking down towards Tower Square. So we've got the uh, a little drinks establishment overlooking Tower Square. And then we've got a lovely little square which is pedestrianised, no cars allowed. We've got a bar pub over there, Tala Land. And then the Vulcani restaurant, very nice restaurant. Martha's Kitchen on the end. Massignora Taverna. Again, just on the head over there is Mario's. I'll show you that in a moment. Arts and Crafts Shop. And then we have, well, I suppose it could be called the Town Hall. So the Civic Building. <coughs> just next to that, we've got the Gallery, Coffee, Art and Wine. Tala Amphitheatre. I'll take you up and show you that. Quite a big, uh, quite a big village is Tala. Several large developments, and, a, and again a large expat community. One reason the expats love places like Tala at, a, it's above the humidity line so it's not as wet and sticky still beautifully warm hot should I say <laughs> warm never does it justice so very hot but not as humid as somewhere like Catapathos and if I just walk uh, down this road here if we look out to the distance we've got sea views and the big church So in front of me is the main Tala Road and there are a few shops and little tavernas and takeaways so over there we've got uh, the veterinary clinic and then underneath it says K2 Bar Internet Cap I'm not sure that that's actually functioning Again, very hilly, steep hill there's a little takeaway and there's a little bar on the corner and also just around the corner from there is a place called Cliff's Bar. Yeah, we've got a place there, the repair shop, that's just repair clocks, furniture, antiques, handbags even, so leatherware on the main Tala Road and in front of us here we have the Big church of Tala. <laughs> oh, 
I'll take you up there, have a look through that door which is kind of on the front underneath the church is a little museum unfortunately it's closed right now it closes at one o'clock and it's mid-afternoon now but uh, it's an ecclesiastical museum so if you're interested in things like that it's worth a look again upon the church wonderful place for photographs if you get married at this church and fabulous sea views and a beautiful breeze coming in from the sea and as I say above the humidity line which can be absolutely draining down in Catapathos because you're so hot and wet so views from Tala my adopted hometown as you can see quite a lot of new buildings up there we've got uh, Tyler Hills 1, 2 and 3 developments and further down we've more developments on this main road and this main road basically leads into Paphos the churches are always spectacular the amount of money they spend and because that's the amount of money the churches have got, the churches are extremely rich, very wealthy. They own huge chunks of land which they've then sold to developers and builders. And of course they've made a lot of money out of that. The church was and is a very powerful influence in politics and people's lives in Cyprus. So again I'm not sure if you can see up in the hills in the background there there's another large church. There is a monastery in Tala and I'll put a link to a video I did of the monastery and there's also a cat sanctuary in Tala and again I'll put a link in the uh, descriptions to take you for that or in the screens above if you click on the links there it will take you to those videos so quite short videos but they are of the monastery at Tala and one of the cat sanctuary in Tala very pretty at Christmas time because they put all the uh, Christmas trees and Santa Claus and things this thing in the middle is a fountain probably on a timer, we'll work on a late evening or at the weekends only. Speaking of cats, I've got the cat of Cyprus. So the restaurants coming down. Lo and behold we have a, another church and then we have Mario's pub, Mario's snack bar. ATM machine if you need it. And just in front of Mario's, so walking past Mario's there. Now that's the uh, tavern. And that's a very highly rated, fabulous restaurant in Tala. I would say it's a hidden gem but it's not hidden because it's often fully booked they actually put announcements on Facebook saying please don't try and come please don't book because we are full and uh, it of course has spectacular views over the sea and if you're here at the right time then the sunset is great it also has a fantastic vegetarian options and lots of them including a vegetarian mez. So, walking up these steep hills, again just over there we have the J&J Artworks Gallery and next to that is a little taverna. It is a Monday today so a lot of places closed on a Monday. Also it's Monday the 19th of September 2022 and that is the 
day of the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Britain. So some of the bars are showing the funeral life to the expats. So this is Tower Square. Move on and show you the uh, amphitheatre. Or amphitheatre. Well, it's scone and scone. Not sure how to pronounce the So anyway, I call it amphitheatre. I'll take you up there. And here we are now at the top of Tower Cliff or Cliff Bar. And it's not named after somebody called Cliff, it's on the edge of a cliff. Well, I suppose it could be named after some car cliff, I'm not sure, I don't think so. And it's cliff bar, not cliffs. And as you can see, it's on the edge of a ravine, which would lead down to the sea. And the spectacular properties around here, with fabulous views and the other side of cliffs and Tala has other areas including Kamara's village in Tala which is a, a large well-established purpose-built holiday village and a lot of expats live up there that's in the distance Kamara's village yeah, the clubhouse and uh, eateries and bars up there. Okay, so onward to the amphitheatre. So here we are up in Tala, just outside the amphitheatre. I'm driven up. It is <laughs> walking from Tala Square to the amphitheatre would not be advised for anyone uh, unless you're incredibly f fit because it is. A steep walk. It's not so much the distance but the it is steep. Anyway I'll swing the camera around you can have a look around with me. So there is a nice kiddies playground all rubberized so when the kids come bouncing off the swing or whatever they don't do too much damage to themselves. Very quiet and there's not normally some kids always playing, but uh, not today. Of course, everywhere gets very warm. Water, picnic tables, and I'm not so sure if you can see through the trees there, but how high up we are. So we're actually in Upper Tala, the uh, higher part of Tala. And I mentioned when you were, we were at Cliffs Bar, that there is a Kamara's village and Kamara's village is in Uptala, the higher part. Now the uh, signpost for the amphitheatre, now the amphitheatre has often evening entertainment um, <coughs> several times a year. They would have pop groups and bands uh, and uh, opera, orchestral shows at the amphitheatre here built on traditional Greek stylistically half circle seating will seat a lot more people than you would imagine and then the performers would be out front here so we've climbed to the top of the amphitheatre and uh, again over in the distance is the big church you took it to at Tala and you can see fabulous sea views the acoustics in here are amazing the Greeks certainly knew a thing or two about acoustics so if I speak you can hear how well it resonates I hope that's coming through on the, the uh, camera.
So anyone speaking down here doesn't seem to resonate, but when you're actually in the amphitheatre itself, the resonance is excellent. If you've been to a show at uh, the Tyler Amphitheatre, tell me what it was like, what it was you went to see. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below. If anyone's any questions on Tala and the, the areas surrounding Tala, if anyone would like any recommends for restaurants or bars, then please feel free to contact me. Our email address is uh, in the description box underneath. And you can also leave a comment or a question. And as far as I will, I will answer it. There is a... <coughs> Sorry, I kind of walked past that. There is a little uh, snack bar cafe which is generally again open in the mornings. It might be closed all day on a Monday, I'm not sure. I have been, it's very pleasant. They open when there's something on at the amphitheatre, selling nice cold beers, nice cold drinks. Big car park, it's just my car. I'm going to go sit and admire the views. So, as I say, well, I'm on my own at the moment because Julie is more of a royalist than I am. Don't get me wrong. Uh, didn't ever wish any harm to come to the royal family and still don't. I think it's a proud tradition in the UK that we have a royal family and we can do pomp and ceremony as good if not better than anyone else but Julie wanted to watch the funeral of our late Queen and I didn't particularly want to watch it so I gave it a miss and came out and did a bit of vlogging on my own so thank you very much for watching if you have been as I say any questions please ask them in the comments below or email me directly. I'll try my best to answer your questions. So from Nigel and Travels with Russells on his own. Bye for now. See you on the next vlog.